Hi everyone, welcome to Messes with Michelle, cleaning one mess up at a time. Today I'm gonna to tackle cleaning my throw cushion from my couch. I'm just gonna zoom you in. So I have these pillows on my couch and they're really nice, but I do also own two dogs and it just so happens the material just loves to collect their fur. So I actually haven't cleaned these before, I've just vacuumed in the past, but I am gonna show you what collects on these cushions. You can see all the white fur and the black fur that's collected, which is actually pretty gross. You don't get to see this at night, but during the day when it's nice and bright, this definitely stands out. So I am quite embarrassed because I didn't really realize how bad it is until today, but I'm glad that I have my little green Pro Heat Pet Cleaner because I will be using this to clean my cushion. So just to introduce you to the culprits who like to sleep on our pillows and create these little messes, are just over here watching me work away. This is Duke. He's a French Bulldog and he's very cute, but he also has tons of fur that likes to follow. And here's the other little guy, Buster. He is also another culprit. You can definitely see his hairs on the pillow a lot more than Duke's. So as they're sleeping away, sunning themselves, I will be working away cleaning up their little messes that they left behind for me. So since I'm only using a small, Hello for my cleanup today. I don't actually need a full reservoir of water, so I'm just gonna walk you over here. So what I'm using today, I'll zoom you in, is the Bissell Professional Spot and Stain Plus Oxy Solution. This is just the trial size that came with the machine, which actually has a lot of solution in it. I've used it about two or three times and it's still quite a bit left in the container. So I just popped out the clean water reservoir just to show you how it works. So right now, you can see it's only about a quarter way full of the tank and at the back of the machine it's really convenient to help you kind of guess like how much you have to put in here so you have a small area you have a large area it shows you where you have to fill up the water and then to that water line and then followed by the formula to the following line above so right now i am rocking and rolling because i am ready to pop the sucker back into the machine and start my cleaning magic so the only thing about this machine that is kind of a negative which is only a small negative is the hose is not very long I was trying to clean my couch and I found out very quickly that this actually does not reach very far so it is great for spot cleaning when you are doing stuff like this like cleaning the couch cushion when it's close proximity of the couch cushion but when you are working from with a machine on the floor and trying to stretch it out onto the couch, it does pose a problem because you can't really get to the back of the couch without yanking the machine and it picking up off the floor. But there's always a solution to a problem, and all I had to do was prop it up onto a chair right beside the couch just to add a little bit extra height, and this way I can go further and deeper into the couch. So all you have to do, this is gonna get loud, so I just want to warn you, is you just want to pop on the power button. And there you have it, the machine starts running. Now before I actually tackle the spot cleaning, I'm actually going to vacuum the couch cushion because as I showed you, there's all of these little tiny hairs on the couch, or sorry, the couch cushion, and I don't want that getting wrapped up in the machine for the spot cleaner. And also it just allows a nice clean surface space to begin my cleaning process. So I'm gonna be using my Dyson. I'm not gonna show you my Dyson because I do actually have to clean the Dyson, which is ironic, cleaning a vacuum that's supposed to be cleaning other items, but hey, it's reality. So I'm just gonna quickly do that off camera, and then this way I'll pop back in and I will show you the cleaning magic. I have vacuumed the cushion, and you can see there is quite an improvement on the material. There's not as much dog hair. There could be a few hairs here and there, but I think the Dyson did what it's supposed to do and suck up all that hair. So now we have a nice clean surface, free of debris. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch on the Bissell Little Green Pro Heat Pet, and away we go.
I'm not able to put too much pressure on the cushion, but I did go along that spot that you noticed earlier, and you can see a little bit of it on here, but for the most part it is grabbing and picking up the stain. So I think with just adding a little bit more pressure to the cushion, we'd really be able to get that stain totally out. It's kind of difficult just to drag the machine along the pillow without it moving. It would be handy to have an extra couple of hands for this video. However, I am alone and I will try my best to do it by myself, which uh, I'm sure it's not gonna be too hard. So let me just clean the rest of the pillow just so that you can see the end result. So right now I just did this small section here and I will show you what comes out of this pillow. Hopefully we see the nitty gritty of what's hiding inside. So I will be right back. Okay, so I just finished cleaning my couch cushion and I definitely see an improvement and I'm sure that you can as well. So the cushion is still moist because it is um, drying. I just finished up just before hitting record on this video, but it looks nice and fresh. You can't really see any dog hair, which is amazing. I am having guests over tomorrow and I did want, didn't want them to see the cushions in the state that they were. Sometimes when you're at home alone, you don't really see these types of small details and oops, as soon as somebody wants to come over, I start to panic personally and want to clean the house top to bottom. And these little things that I'm doing today do make a big impact on your guest's comfort because I don't want them to come over to my house and then lean against the cushion and then leave with half a dog. So there is the end result. Now the water itself wasn't too crazy dirty, which is great because it shows that it wasn't as bad as I thought it was, but it looks a bit cloudy, most likely probably from the solution, then a bit of dust and debris that was collected in the cushion. So let me just show you what was actually coming out. So I just want to show you again. So this is the after, and I do have another cushion that's identical. And this is the before. So this one is actually a little bit more dirty than the first one, but this is the reality of owning two dogs. They're cute, they're cuddly, and they love to use our cushions, but they do leave quite a mess. Now I shouldn't blame it totally on the dogs, but today I will. Here you are before and after. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is my first video on my YouTube channel. So hopefully you found some sort of use out of it for your day to day life or just gave you the inspiration to go out and buy a cushion, dirty it up and clean it off. So there you have it. That's all for today and I will see you in my next video.